Hey, what's up guys? Dave here. It is 6.23 p.m. on Monday, July 8th. And uh, I had a little misadventure today that scared the ever-living crap out of me. Now, let me explain. You ever have something where you go through a great ordeal and you fight tooth and nail to try to get things going a way that you understand it. You manage to do so. Everything's fine. So you're thinking if something similar happens again, then you can just do the same thing you did again, and it'll fix it. See, that's what happened with me. And something happened today that freaked me the hell out. Let me explain. So, I'm feeling pretty good as of yesterday. Got my new room. Uh, it looks like if I need any help with breathing and stuff or whatever, I'm in a good place for it. They can help me out. So, this morning, doctor came in, told me that I'm doing better. As far as he's concerned, I don't need to put it. I don't need to stay here. So. Uh, as, far, as far as he's concerned, he can just go ahead and put in his discharge orders. But when he said it, I thought he meant that, like he'd get to go through a couple other doctors because I still had my high blood pressure. I'm still feeling weak. And I'm still a little gun shy as far as being able to leave any place, like to go back home, because what happens if I have another breathing issue? So I'm uh, getting ready to go to uh, dialysis today. Case manager walks in and tells me that they put a discharge order on me. And I tell them, look, I'm not ready for that. I'm not, like I said, too weak, high BP. What happens if I have a breathing problem? I was doing the same thing I did last week when I had my initial fears about going home. And then so they ended up finding my heart issue. So I was feeling pretty good about myself, you know. I stood my ground again. So I figured, okay, at worst... I'll just stay here for another few days until I get strong enough to go home. No muss, no fuss. So, I'm in dialysis. And I'm actually nodding off, napping in there. And figuring, you know, once that's done, go back to my room. Everything's fine. No. I get woken up and told flat out that once my dialysis shift is over, they're talking about discharging me. And sending my ass to a rehab center. Now, no one up until this point told me anything about a rehab center being an option. More than that, I was figuring, look, the whole reason I've got my health issues right now is because this hospital put extra fluid in me when I was doing PD. And now they're trying to clean up their mess. So I figured, at the very least, I would be staying here until they cleaned up their freaking mess. But it turns out, uh-uh. Looks like uh, the main doctors and insurance were saying, look, since I'm not in immediate danger, I need to get my ass out of here. But, uh, so all I was focusing on at the time was, oh my God, they're kicking me out of the hospital against my will. I was scared to death, dude. I freaked out. I called my, you know, I called Neil's mom to try to come up and help out with things. I was spreading the word out online. I'm like, oh my God, they are kicking me out of the freaking hospital. So I was scared to death, dude. But after I got in my room, they calmed things down a bit and they explained to me that they're not simply abandoning my ass. The rehab centers are the next logical step for care. It means that you're healthy enough to no longer have to be in the hospital. But if you're not ready to go home and be on your own and stuff yet, this is the next step to take care of you. They already look like uh, Medicare should cover my issues for 20 days if I need to be that that long. So, but I was so scared, dude. Look, the biggest fear I had was that I didn't want to get in a situation where I suddenly couldn't breathe. I didn't have a call button to hit somebody to come check on me and put me on a BiPAP if I needed to again. I was scared. I was genuinely afraid for my freaking life. But they explained it. That's what the rehab center is for. They do have the equipment. Everything's fine. I will have 
more freedom as far as being able to get up. Now we'll have to get up and participate in physical rehab and stuff to move around, but I'm okay with that. You know, I just didn't want to be pushed behind something that was I felt like I wasn't ready for. And honestly, I just felt like two, three days, I'll be fine. Now I'm finding out that this place that actually hold me up for 20 without, uh, you know, needing to start charging extra or whatever, but, and my insurance should cover it. So I think the whole thing was, you know how in the dark night they talked about how people will freak out as long as everything's according to plan? My plan was stay here until I'm strong enough, walk the floor, get better, get this fluid out of me, and be fine. And when that happens, and I can get my blood pressure down, I will finally be well enough to vacate the premises. See, my blood pressure thing, that's always been the thing. There have been times I have been here and I've been chomping at the bit to get the hell out of Dodge. But my blood pressure has always been the one thing that's kept me from being able to get out of here until it got lower. And it was high enough that I could, compared to every other time I've been here, they were not going to let me go. But suddenly they're like, they threw the rules out the window. They're like, suddenly all the standards I was used to was gone. And even from last week, when I stood my ground, stayed my happy ass here, and then got diagnosed with a heart problem, that would have gotten missed. Even then, it's like I was feeling like, nope, don't care, you just got to get out of here. I was scared to death. But after I calmed down, I realized that this place is better. And they're not just abandoning me. That was my biggest fear. I was being abandoned. So, looks like by the time I got back into the room after dialysis, it was too late to ship out tonight anyway. So, I'm going to stay here tonight. I'm going to relax and chill. And uh, I'll be shipping out there tomorrow morning. No muss, no fuss. And once I do get it, for those that are local and want to come visit me, that's cool. I'll be able to give you my information and you can come see me then. So, it's good. I've just been sitting here kind of napping after all this because, dude, ugh, my blood pressure was rocketing. I was scared. I was having another panic attack. I was freaking out that I wasn't going to get help. But then basically, someone explained to me, like, you can't stay here, so we're going to send you to another place that can get you help and not home. I was focusing on the wrong thing. <laughs> but, look, it felt like because everything... And they, they took away my plan, man. They hit me by surprise with this thing. The way they said it freaked me the hell out. And suddenly it's like, according to the plan that everything had worked up until then, suddenly they just said those rules don't apply anymore. I was scared. Given everything that I've gone through, the various scares I've had about my health, the various pains I've gone through, everything. Suddenly it felt like I was so close to the finish line according to the plan I had in my head. And someone tripped me up before I got there. And because I was no longer on the path that I had seen forth in my head, I was scared. I was freaking out. I was wondering if I would ever be able to get out of here alive. Look, I've gone through a freaking marathon of stuff here, dude. I have gone through so, so, so much pain. And... I think I handled everything well because everything was according to plan. Everything was laid out for me. I understood what was going on. Suddenly I was throwing a curveball on something that I didn't quite understand at first. And that fear came up and bit me on the ass. But I'm better now. I feel like I've got a stress headache despite the fact that I've got oxycodone in me. But um, I think that's because I had a major jolt. I'm doing okay. I'm going to be fine. Tomorrow I'm going to be moved to another location that's, a, uh, like I said, a rehab place that will be taking care of me. And it's just one step showing that I should be okay. And when I am ready to go home, they can discharge me. Not a problem. It's not a prison. Which I've seen like celebrity rehab, and I felt like that was kind of like part of the problem. So I was scared. I'd gone through so much. And like I said, they threw me a curveball and I freaked the hell out. I'm doing better now. I'm 
going to be okay. And uh, it's a little silly now that I'm thinking about it, but at the time, it seemed like a completely rational fear. And it turns out my buddy Neil had something similar when he was offered rehab. Uh, and it's a perfectly natural reaction to feel like everything's going to be on, under a certain set way. And then the rug yanked out from under you. But when this time, the, yeah, the rug may be getting yanked out from under me, but there's a trust fall inflatable mat there waiting to catch me. I didn't see it, so I freaked. Anyway, I am feeling better overall. I am feeling a bit stronger, although this took a hell of a lot out of me. And um, I'm going to be out of here this week. Well, out of rehab this week. So by the end of this weekend, I should be able to go home, take care of that things, and go to see Spider-Man uh, Far From Home. All right, guys, just giving you an update. Take care of you. Talk to you tomorrow. Peace.